bit far out, aren't we, human? There's no towns or outposts for miles. Aren't you tired? Take my hand, weary traveler. I offer you salvation from the storm. I don't ask for a lot, just help preparing some food, of course. You shall be cared for. Shelter and a room will be provided, as well as food and drink. Won't you take my hand? Thank you, traveler. I promise. You will be completely at home, here. Hmm? How did we do what? I'm not sure what you're talking about. We walked all the way here. I'm just a regular human. What makes you think I could teleport? After all, I am just a normal person. Now come on, it's getting colder out here. The storm's showing no sign of letting up. Anself, open the gate for us, please. Welcome, traveler, to my humble abode. Well, my mighty castle. <laughs> Why, yes, I do own this castle. My family has passed it down through the generations. I am the latest heir to its throne. My official title is King Valentine Arek. This is the Ellsworth Keep, named so after my great-great-great-grandfather and the builder of this magnificent structure. The structure itself is ten stories high. It's a tradition for every new member to add a new addition to it. Mine hasn't been added yet, however, we are looking into it. <laughs> I'm a bit offended. No, I do not use slaves for building. No, stranger. These are my citizens. They live here free of struggle for any sort of substance, as everything is provided for them. They live under my protection. You see, stranger, that is the reason that I have brought you here. The forests that surround this area are very dangerous. Many monsters make their home here. Beastmen, vampiric creatures, and beings who crawled out of hell itself. Within these walls, though, they are safe. This has been the responsibility of my family through the ages, protecting those who live here. Now, follow me. Let's get you inside. Most of these villagers are already inside their homes. Thank you, too. These are my two housekeepers. It's a large structure, after all, so I don't have quite enough time to deal with it myself. This is my throne room. Everything else can be reached through the doors on the left or right of this room. The dungeon and armory are to the left, and the living areas to the right. It has been a while since anyone has been down there. Most here believe that it is haunted, but I don't believe in any of that nonsense. Even as a monster hunter. <laughs> here, follow me. I'll take you to your quarters for the night. Hmm? How long were you on that road? You seem like you were seconds away from collapsing. Well, that checks out. I'd be ready to collapse too if I'd walked an entire day. Were you visiting family? A friend, perhaps? Maybe even looking for a vampire said to be lodged in these woods. One who's rumored to kidnap locals who walk along the road. <laughs> oh, that last one, it was a joke. Don't look at me like that. I don't kidnap people. I do invite them here into my village, though. Give them a place to stay, somewhere warm and welcoming. Somewhere safe. You would have perished if you'd remained along that trail. What do I mean? Couldn't you see them? There were goblins surrounding you, their beady red eyes latched onto you from the forest cover. I'm not surprised you didn't notice, though. You do look exhausted. Here, come take a load off. Let's get you nice and at home. Shepherd, Elizabeth, a moment, please. Would you two please take the size measurements of our visitor here? Thank you, two. 
Always so eager to help. Once you get those, bring them some clean clothing that will fit them. Wonderful. Now if you'll allow me to light a fire, I'd love to hear more about you. I don't believe you've given me your name yet. Ah, such a nice name. As I said before, my name is Valentine, but if you wish, you may simply call me V. I've told these two to stop calling me Sir, and just call me V, but I guess my title precedes me. They still remember my father and his father. Hmm? Oh, yes, they've been working here since my grandfather was alive. He was one of the people who hired them, after all. It's, it's quite an interesting story, actually. You see, one dark and cold night, there was a wailing outside the walls of the village. My grandfather and his knights went to investigate the racket, only to find a crashed caravan moving past the castle. Carts and horses were thrown all over the area. The only remaining survivors were Elizabeth and Shepard. She was clutching her love in her arms his life force slipping out of his body as fast as his blood. My grandfather, who was a masterful sorcerer, cast a spell to heal him. Spells have a cost, though, and as payment, they both became immortal, not aging since the incident. The cost was that, from that point on, they were linked. Whatever one feels, the other does as well. Any pleasure, any pain... And in an extreme case, if one were to perish, so would the other. They are great workers, though. They spend their weeks here showing up when the clock chimes nine and leaving when it chimes four. Their home is closest to the castle. It was the two-story one with the giant pine tree next to it. Why, yes, of course. Anyone who stays here has a home prepared for them. In fact, we actually have one open as of last week. Yes, the owner spent a very long and happy life here. She passed away peacefully in her sleep. Monster attacks here are almost non-existent. They know this area is under my protection, after all. Besides, if anyone were to try and hurt anyone under my care... They will meet a fate much worse than death. After all, Eliak, the cursed son, lives here. And may those who cross him pay. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. Cursed son, yes, why, I am the cursed son. I'll tell you more about that later, but for now, let's get you to your room. Let's see here. This should do. Thank you, Elizabeth. Here are some clean clothes for the night. There's a shower and some cleaning products inside your room. Do make yourself at home. I'll show you around the grounds tomorrow. You'll make your choice if you want to stay or go then. Good night, traveler. Thank you.